Hello, this is Carrie Bradford, and I am going to show you how you can take a design to create a inset for a background on a page like I have done here. So the first thing that we need to do is determine which size of background it is that you're using. I used a background of 8.5 by 11, and when I do 8.5 by 11, a lot of times I will create it and cut it out of a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because in that way I'm assured that everything will be lined up exactly where it needs to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and draw a rectangle and size this to 8.5 by 11. Now if you were doing this with a 12 by 12 you could go ahead and create that as well and it would work just the same but I with, with when it's 8.5 by 11 the best thing to do is to create the rectangle and then again cut it from the 12 by 12. So now that we have our rectangle, we want to create that window for our inset. And the best thing to do is just go ahead and do an offset. I'm going to do an internal offset of 0.35 inches, put it on corner, and then say apply. That way we are assured that we have this nice even space in between everything that we need up there. And then I'm just going to take this bottom handle and click and drag and bring it up so that it is about 2.75 inches. And now we have our window. But technically, Silhouette is seeing this as a rectangle shape on top of another rectangle shape. So we want to tell Silhouette Studio that this is actually a window that when we are designing that it just should look at this as an open space. So I'm just going to select them both, right click, and make it a compound path. Now Studio will see that as a whole, which is important when we come to add our lattice work. So now I'm going to come over here and get my background design. This is a shape from the More Background Basics kit, which you can just find in the store on my site. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this, Control C, and move over here, Control V for paste. Now I like this design, but for the look I'm going for, I don't want the diamonds to be quite so long. So I'm just going to simply click on the bottom handle again and maybe make this about six inches tall. Another thing that I want to do to this is I want to make these a little bit thicker and stronger. So I am going to add an offset again and this time we're going to put in 0.035, make sure it's on corner, and then say apply. So now if you look we're giving ourselves a little bit of a stronger thicker connection. It works great to cut out a thin background, but for what I made, I just kind of wanted that look just to have a little more oomph and, and, and meat to it. So now I'm going to just select both of them, right click, and weld it all together. And as you can see now, it just has a little bit more meat to it, which is kind of what I wanted for this particular page. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm looking at these little X marks right here. And I'm just kind of setting it in the center going up and down of this little window. Just kind of making sure it's kind of in the middle. Just maybe using my arrow keys to adjust it. And then I'm going to go, into it, go ahead and align in the center. Now, we can't just go ahead and weld this together because we have all of this excess up here. If I, if I were to go ahead and show you how that would look. That's what we would get. We don't want that top part welded with the rest of our page. So I just pressed undo. So now I'm just going to bring out my Ginsu knife. <laughs> and not only does it cut tomatoes and cans, it can cut a lattice. So I just hold down my shift key and click and drag it across. And now I've made two pieces. So I can just select on that one and delete it. Now if we grab all of that, right click and choose weld you can see that it now creates our lattice background that we want and I'm just going to get rid of those couple little extra pieces and voila we have our really great looking background and you could do this with flowers or stripes or stars or circles or any other kind of you know big basic background that you might have and create this really cute inset with your background to put on a page and then you could either leave it open or you could back it with a complimentary piece of paper like I have done here. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tip. 
Thanks for stopping by.